The world seems to look a whole lot better after a victory, and Ohio football gets to enjoy that fact for the first time in 2008. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Last week here in Athens, it was homecoming, and VMI went down 51-31. Didn't matter who it was against, the Bobcats had to taste success for the first time in the season to validate all of their hard work. They got it, and now you're only as good as your next effort. It's off to Western Michigan to take on the 4-1 Broncos this week on homecoming in Kalamazoo. The Broncos are 4-1 for the first time since 2000. So the Bobcats will go from West Green on campus here in Athens to Kalamazoo this weekend to take on WMU. This is the scouting report on the Broncos. In 2000, the Broncos got to 4-1 with a win over Ohio. WMU went 9-3 that year, won the MAC West, but lost to Marshall in the league championship game. The Broncos haven't won a conference crown since 1988, and this year's unit has a fighting chance to win in Detroit because of solid play on both sides of the ball. There are a lot of good quarterbacks in the MAC, and for whatever reason, WMU's Tim Hiller sometimes gets lost in the discussion, but he shouldn't. He's incredibly talented and accurate. It's a major reason why the Broncos are having the success they're having. The junior from Orville, Ohio, is 70% solid on passes this year. He has 15 touchdowns, just three interceptions, and over 1,300 yards. He was the MAC Freshman of the Year in 2005 and has improved from last season where he was good but not great. He had 20 touchdowns and 15 INTs in the Broncos' 5-7 2007 campaign. Hiller has a solid core of wideouts to throw to. Jamarco Simmons is a 6'2", 234-pound senior from Flint. He's six yards shy of 400 on the year and has four touchdowns. He was a MAC first-teamer in 07. Schneider, Spider, Julian, and Juan Nunez are sure-handed, too. WMU has had the luxury of having tough and capable tight ends over the years, and Brendan Ledbetter could be one of the best. He has 18 career touchdowns for this year and had five catches last week against Temple for 52 yards. Brandon West keeps the Broncos galloping on the ground. The junior from Georgia has 467 yards and three touchdowns this year. The Brown and Gold have the max second best total O and are seventh with total D. They do give up the least amount of yards per carry in the league. Their 10 sacks are tied for the most in the conference with Central Michigan and Ball State. Linebacker Brandon McCornell is the Mac West D player of the week. He has 31 tackles on the season. Their secondary is solid, with Lou Delmas and C.J. Wilson guiding the unit. Delmas has three interceptions and 40 tackles. Wilson has 37 tackles and one pick. Western lost in week one at Nebraska and has beaten Northern Illinois, Idaho, Tennessee Tech, and Top Temple last week, 7-3 in Philly. Bottom line, this is going to be a physical football game. The Broncos are tough. The Bobcats are going to have to prove they're tougher to come out of Waldo 1-1 one one in the MAC. This will be the 59th meeting between the two schools. In all time, the series has been tight. Western leads at 29, 28, and 1. The last time these two teams met was back in 2006 at Peden, and it was a dandy. The Broncos lost that one 27 to 20. Western did win the last time the two schools met at Waldo Stadium. Back in 2000, Ohio lost 23 to 10. It could be a historic day for Western Michigan football. The Broncos are trying for their 500th all-time program victory. The Bobcats are trying to avoid that and their first one in five start in the season since 2002. It should be fun in Kalamazoo on Saturday. Our coverage on the Citizens Bank Ohio ISP Sports Network starts at 1 o'clock with our one-hour pregame show. That's also free on the Internet at OhioBobcats.com. And we get going with our game broadcast just after 2. It's Ohio and Western Michigan, week 6 of the 2008 season. That's the scouting report. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcats TV.